Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Um, sorry if I uh, a little stutter. Um, I did get my wisdom teeth removed a few days ago, so it's kind of difficult to talk. But uh, yeah, this is a, a new episode I'm doing on the channel called Road to the Show and IRL. I know, it's crazy, um, but we're going to do it. We're gonna, we've are gonna. we been pushing really hard this summer, and I'm just going to try to take you guys through what I do. Um, if you don't know me, my name's Tate Mulliken. Uh, it's also the YouTube channel's name. I'm 19 years old. Um, I'll be a sophomore this year at WLC, Wisconsin Lutheran College. If you didn't know that too, I better clarify that. Um, with that being said, uh, I'm going to go through some basic stuff in this episode, such as uh, my freshman year, how it went uh, at WLC, and then um, some of the pitch grips I throw. Uh, last year, I didn't throw a whole lot. Um, I'll get into that a little bit. But I only threw two pitches, and the majority of the time it was one pitch. Um, I'll get into that as well. But as we get going forward, um, I'm from a small town, Barron, Wisconsin. Uh, I'll get into my decision to play college baseball. I used to love baseball to death, and in high school that kind of faded away. Um, the coaching kind of really put it off or whatever, and I... I just want to be a pitcher, and now that I'm in college, I actually get to be a pitcher, and I've been working really hard this off season to get a lot better because I, I know my ability and my skill set um, from basketball because I was pretty good at basketball, and coming in freshman year, I was not good at basketball. Um, so yeah, I'll get right into it. Um, my first pitch that I like to use to show is the four seam grip. Obviously, you know, you get your basic four seam grip. Uh, my best pitch that uh, seems to do a lot of good is the two-seam. Um, pretty basic pitch, too. Um, it really tails, and I really like that a lot. Um, I utilize it quite a bit. Sometimes it comes off looking like a sinker, um, which is pretty nice. Uh, the next grip is my change-up. I've been developing this, but it'd be thumb pressure on the thumb right here. And then this one, uh, the, what finger is that? The index finger. Pressure on those points, and then just throw it like that. Don't really put pressure on these, and just put pressure on those guys. And yeah, basically same throw as, uh, as a fastball. Um, another changeup I've been working on in development is this bad boy. So I just put pressure on this guy, kind of ease off on the sides over here. They're just kind of placeholders, along with the bottom half. And I just throw that normal too, and it seems to work out pretty well for me. Um, and then one of my favorite pitches uh, that I've thrown, um, and I, I used to be really good at throwing it, and I'm kind of like up in the air, it's hit or miss, um, is the slider. And I just turn the wrist when I throw that, and uh, yeah, sometimes it's on, sometimes it's not. Um, I love the pitch. Uh, it buckles guys' knees, and that's huge. You know, that's if you can if you can throw it at a guy, and they turn out of the way because they think it's gonna hit them, and it comes right into the zone. That's the best feeling in the world, and I've done that quite a few times. And I love the pitch; it's a great pitch. Um, another pitch that I'm throwing is the curveball, which is the same thing. I just snap through with it, um, which that's beautiful, and I'm excited to use that because I did not use that freshman year or in high school. Um, so I'm excited to do that. Um, getting into freshman year a little bit, uh, it was kind of up in the air. I didn't know if I was going to play baseball. I didn't really like my high school experience a whole lot. Um, I came in freshman year expecting to be on varsity, which a lot of the guys on the team, on the varsity team, were telling me, yeah, you're going to be on varsity, you should be on varsity, and like, that kind of got to my head. I had a big head with baseball, and, uh, the coach was just kind of putting everybody else I was one of the best players in my class and he's just putting everybody else up and I was like what the heck and uh, I didn't want to hit I simply didn't want to hit and for JV I got offensive player of the year which was big but uh, we got a new coach for our senior year and I was excited I was going to use that to tell if I was going to play in college baseball and so with that being said we didn't have a season um, I was part of the lucky COVID class that didn't have a season um, so that sucked, and I'm just like, you know what, just do it, just do it. During the whole off season, I really didn't throw a whole bunch, I didn't work on anything, I didn't work out, um, 
I, I kind of just was, I don't know, I don't know what I was expecting. Um, I also thought about playing basketball. Uh, that didn't happen. But I stuck with baseball, and first semester was pretty weird. Um, I, just like another freshman on the team um, that I'm pretty good friends with now, but we, I just, nobody really talked to me. And it was kind of like a weird, you know, weird thing. And I was just like, didn't know if I was fitting in or not. And, you know, nobody was talking to me or whatever. And I just kind of took it, you know, as I was. But that whole fall, I simply threw the four seam and the two seam. And I did pretty well during that whole fall with just those two pitches. And I think it's because my two seam is pretty, pretty gross, personally. But, uh... Hopefully I can get some film in with this. Uh, you guys can see my, my pitches, my my workout, my recovery. I plan on doing the next video on recovery. Um, I think that's a huge thing that people need to see. And yeah, I, I enjoy it um, quite a lot actually. I've got to actually do recovery after this video. Um, so yeah, with that being said, uh, my, my uh, spring semester was pretty good, a lot better. Um, I was a reserve starter for the most of the season. Uh, my first college pitch that actually counted uh, was a grand slam. They put me in with the bases loaded and um, I threw a fastball and I, I, you know, of course, I only had two pitches to work with. They would, well, no, not two. The slider was actually working pretty well then and I threw him a fastball and I should have threw him a, you know, if I had a changeup, I would through that and instead of nope he uh belted it out of there and uh, i think that was like a second home run of the day and they said their seven and eight hitters couldn't hit and they could hit they had their home runs but yeah no that that whole time um during the spring semester was pretty good and relaxing um i, I didn't do bad i didn't do great just kind of good thing getting back in the flow of things um a lot of people didn't know what what they'd expect from me um, some teammates kind of thought I was going to be garbage, and I thought I was going to be garbage as well. But uh, I know my work ethic, and I, I know I can get to the top of the top of the food chain. That's kind of what this video is. Um, I expect big things out of myself. Um, like I said, like I've seen what I've done with basketball. I used to be absolutely garbage at basketball. I used to shoot a basketball like this, so I was basically blocking my shot. Um, I ended up being a pretty good shooter, and... Um, I was going to be, I I wasn't going to be, I had plans to be all conference my senior year. Um, I worked hard the whole off season and uh, that didn't happen because um, I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease and if you know what Crohn's disease, it's kind of like a stomach issue. Uh, I missed a month of basketball. I First game I actually ran my butt off in the first half and after that I couldn't even walk. So yeah, they sent me to the hospital, I had allergic reaction to the meds. And so I was in there for a week, and then they said I had to wait a month, and so it was it was a crappy situation, literally. Um, but no, this uh, this intro video, I'm Tate Mulliken. Um, hopefully, there's more videos to come. Uh, there will be. Uh, I'll try to get some video footage of me throwing my little routine that I like to do. Um, show off some of the pitches. Um, I will have a recovery video though, because I I can do that. I can be mobile with that. Um, I just don't have anybody to hold a camera or anything like that for my throwing video. Um, but I'll also give updates on the season, how my season's going, and things like that. Um, some practices, if you know, if I'm dealing in practices, striking guys out. I already have a big plan for this season. Um, my biggest inspiration is Trevor Bauer, and with that being said, I'm gonna I'm gonna show motion. I'm gonna show a lot of motion. Um, I believe that's good for the game, and. I've already thought of some some things that you know to do. Last year, I actually struck out two guys on the team, and um, the first one didn't notice, but the second guy noticed. I uh, actually waved to him goodbye. And um, with that being said, I've thought of a lot of little combinations of celebrations, I guess, so to say, um, to end it. Um, I like that mentality. You know, be on top of the world. You know, let them know what's up. They'll let you know what's up when, you know, they get the opportunity to as well. But, uh, yeah, Trevor Bauer's a big influence of mine. Um, so, yeah, that'll be it for this episode. Um, 
leave comments if you want to see anything, hear about anything. I can give you a whole life story if you really want, but that'd have to be in a different video segment, not this one. This is strictly baseball. Um, you know, maybe I'll give some takes on some baseball players, give some analysis, um, thoughts. Um, See, so yeah, with that being said, uh, I'm out, guys. Have a good one.